Our solar system, the place we call home, lies about 26,000 light years from the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Or around two thirds the way up. The story of how these huge planets came to be orbiting an average yellow star is six billion years long. And since we don't have that much time, I'll speed it up a bit. It starts with a bang. Long ago, an ancient star exploded, littering space with swirling clouds of the materials it had made while it lived and the heavier metals it created as it died. We know this because we can see similar fields of dust out in space today. They are called nebulae, and they are very beautiful. Every nebula is different, and in our case, the clouds contained nitrogen and oxygen and iron and silica and all the other stuff needed to build a world like ours. Then the tireless force of gravity started to pull it all back together. And the heavy engineering that produces planets began. Vast spirals of dust began to form. And at the center of one of these, a rocky planet called Earth started to take shape built of stardust and assembled by gravity. Fast forward 100 million years, and it had grown into a giant ball, sweeping up billions of tons of celestial debris. This is where the Earth came from and therefore how you and I began. But our planet would have remained a large, sterile ball of rock and metals and minerals forever, were it not for one more event, one more expression of the forces of nature. 93 million miles away, at the heart of the giant nebula, the pressure and temperature of a ball of hydrogen gas had become so great that the atoms were beginning to fuse. A new star, our sun, was coming to life. As the sun ignited, it gave off a huge blast of solar wind a radioactive gust of energy. This blew all the remaining dust and gas that was left over from the nebula out to the edge of the solar system, which is why everything is nice and orderly today. In the outer reaches of the solar system, we have the huge gas planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Further in are the denser, rockier planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, and of course, the Earth. Lucky for us, the Sun is 865,000 miles in diameter, or just the right size to burn consistently for a very long time. Eight billion years long enough to allow the next development to take place. Life. 